The man credited with saving former Arizona Congresswoman Gabrielle Gifford's life comes to Wright State University. Today, Daniel Hernandez spoke with a group of students. The 21-year-old has been hailed for his actions January 8th of last year. That's when a gunman opened fire at a rally in Tucson, killing six people. Giffords was shot in the head. Daniel Hernandez rushed to her side, covering her wound, helping her breathe, even as she was rushed to the hospital in an ambulance. New at 6 o'clock, he relives that day and what he has learned since. Uh, I, I was very calm and stoic uh, because I knew that it wouldn't help anyone for me to freak out. Calm and reserve. That accurately describes Daniel Hernandez, the college student who was credited with saving the life of Congresswoman Gabby Giffords last January. There's another intern who was there who went into shock, which is completely normal, and he, he, he wasn't able to, to cope with things as well right after. Um, and I knew that I couldn't do that because I needed to be someone who provided assistance right away. At the time of the shooting, Hernandez had been a congressional intern for only five days. He says the incident has left a physically different Giffords, but she is still the woman with the same caring, giving heart. In a conversation during her recovery, she asked about Hernandez's mother's baking talents. She asked how my mom was doing and if she would be getting a cake soon. In less than two weeks, Daniel will graduate from the University of Arizona, but his public service continues. He was recently elected to the Tucson, Arizona school board that represents his high school. This, he says, is part of what he learned from Giffords. There, there's five things that, that I talk about, uh, but, but the biggest one is the importance of service and the importance of all of us giving back in our own ways. Uh, public service is not something that anyone can define uh, for, for everyone. It's something that's always changing. It's constantly uh, evolving.